Let me go to the second one. Naturally wired visual learners. These ones, they learn best. These children or learners or adults, they learn best in the class, lecture hall, anywhere at all, in seminars, they learn best by sight. You've got to have something to show them. That is why in education, uh, learning chat in the classroom, to decorate the classroom, is not for fashion or for showcase. It is for the children to see it every day and digest it, consuming digest it every day, and it sticks to their brain. I remember many times when I was in school, primary school, there was there was diagrams of the ear, the the, the earring, the earring system, the earring on the wall. I remember it really well. That was about, uh, f I think about 48 years ago. Yeah, I remember it very well. I also remember the visual, the nature corner. So, for you, so the, the naturally wired visual learners learn best through what to show them. So, next, when next you are going to the classroom, don't just go with your mouth and your lesson plan. Go with your mouth, your lesson plan, and something to show them. You can show them pictures, graphs, diagrams in the textbook. In fact, teaching a subject, that's the best place to kick off a new topic from the diagrams, not from the texts, from that topic, from the diagrams, from the graphs. You want to teach physics? Start from the, what to teach physics, want to teach uh, acceleration, velocity, velocity time and acceleration? You start from the graphs. That's the best place to start. It will sink easier. So watching it sinking. Meanwhile, when you are teaching, when you, are, when you bring in visual something, because they're naturally wired auditory learners, they have eyes too. So they are learning both visually and also auditorily. Meaning they are learning in two ways. So on this one, they are naturally wired visual learners. They learn this and they retain very long time what you show them. So you can use learning chart, you can use flashcards, you can use video, which is even the best of the visual uh, approach to a class. When you don't have a video, you can use flashcards, you can use learning chart, you can use diagrams and all those things. So, when you come into the class, go with something visual to show the children. When you do that, you'll be capturing two out of the three learning personality types that are in your class. The visual learners and also the auditory learners. Meaning that, at the end of the day, you're capturing more people, more children, more learners in your class. How do you know children that are naturally wired uh, visual learners? When you are explaining things to them, their eyes open, open, more, more. If you see those children in your class that their eyes are always open and glistening, those are their naturally wired uh, visual learners.